so the next topic in your module one is hybrid pi model okay so under hybrid pi model this is for the bjt case okay so what is meant by hybrid pi model it is a popular circuit model for analyzing small signal behavior of bjt and fit so in this case first case we are going to deal with your bjt bipolar junction transistor okay as per your syllabus you are going to study two different configurations okay so the first configuration is uh, your voltage controlled current source voltage controlled current source this is your first configuration under bjt okay and the second configuration is current controlled current controlled current source okay so you know that your input is your base okay and your output is your collector okay across the, so this is uh, the hybrid pi model of voltage controlled current source so in the input side you will be having your input resistor that is your base resistor which is given as r pi similarly the output uh, side you have a current source but what current source it is voltage controlled current source so the voltage controlled current source is given by the value gm into bbe so what is this value it is nothing but your value of your ic okay so this will be your ic current here you will be having your ib current and your common factor is going to be your emitter okay so the current across this is your ie so this is going to be your voltage controlled current source configuration whereas in the case of current controlled uh, current source this vb will be replaced by current that's the only difference okay so you have input as base across the input so here you have voltage control right so here you have your input voltage vb same vb okay so here it is same you have the input resistor that is r pi okay and across the out so the current flowing here is ib your collector terminal will be your output right and you have this is current controlled current source so this value is given as beta into ib i'll tell you how you have got beta into ib now your common will be your emitter okay grounded so the current across your emitter is given as ie this is the only difference so here it is voltage controlled current source here it is current controlled current source voltage bbe will be controlling the current here the ib will be controlling the current source that is the only difference so in this case what are the different formulas you have you can write gm is equal to what will be your formula for gm as we have seen in the previous video ic divided by vt okay now what will be your r pi r pi is equal to vbe divided by ib right for vce is equal to zero or it can be written as vt thermal voltage divided by your ib for dc bias condition okay so vt divided by ib this can be just reconfigured okay so what is your uh, ib you know that ib uh, ic is equal to beta into ib from this can you find out what is ib ib will be equal to ic divided by beta therefore r pi will be equal to vt divided by instead of ib you are substituting this value ib divided ic divided by beta now you just reconfigure bring beta up and vt down so you will be getting beta divided by ic divided by vt but you know that ic divided by vt is equal to what which is equal to gm so you can write r pi as beta divided by gm okay so this is your second formula okay gm and r pi you have got okay so now you are going to find out the values of your currents ic ib and ie so what will be your ic ic will be equal to gm into vbe right that is what written here gm into vbe what will be your current ib voltage divided by your resistance vbe divided by r pi that is what given here vbe divided by r pi now what will be your ie now at emitter node so if we want to find out your ie so at emitter node what will be your uh, current ie the sum of both your I, uh, input current and output current right so ie will be equal to gm into vbe plus vbe divided by r pi 
okay just you are going to reconfigure it you are going to take vbe divided by vbe divided by r pi s common so if you take so 1 plus what will be the value gm into r pi right since you don't have r pi in this side so now you know that what is your r pi r pi is equal to beta divided by gm therefore beta from this what will be your beta beta will be equal to r pi into gm right can you replace it here here you have r pi into gm that you can replace it by beta so ie will be equal to vbe divided by r pi into 1 plus beta okay now if i bring this 1 by 1 plus beta down to the denominator what you will be getting vb divided by r pi divided by 1 plus beta what is your value r pi divided by 1 plus beta which is equal to re right so i can write that ie is equal to vbe divided by re so you have got the value for ie ic and ib okay so these are the different uh, equations which you have got from your voltage controlled current source configuration now what is happening in your current control current source only parameter what you have to find out is how did you get this beta into ib so here you have gm into vbe right gm into vbe is turned into beta into ib so gm into vbe how can you write gm into instead of vbe can you write it as what is your IB? IB is equal to VBE divided by R pi, right? So, in this, uh, can you find out what is VBE? R pi into IB. So, I can write it as IB into R pi. Just reconfigure it. GM into R pi into IB. What is your GM into R pi? Which is equal to GM into R pi. Which is equal to beta, right? So, beta into IB. That's how you got GM into VBE is equal to beta into IB which is replaced here. Okay. So now the next modification is here. In the same diagram if you apply the early effect. If you have the early effect you are going to add one output resistance R0. That is the only difference. The, the next two diagrams depicts the in inclusion of your R0. What is meant by early effect? The slight dependence of uh, IC on VCE here it is VC is equal to 0 right here now a slight dependence of IC on VCE due to the base width modulation so if you take the consider, considering the early effect you have these two diagrams will be modified into the two diagrams which will consist of your resistance R0 so how will you how will your first diagram look like so you'll be having your base so voltage controlled current source okay so base the same diagram r pi across the input you have vbe small vbe across the output you have collector current source what is the value here gm into vbe or you can write it as v pi let me write it as vbe okay and what will what is your addition here you have your output resistance r naught that is the only difference here and you have your emitter this will be your current IE. So here you will be having IC and here you will be having IB. Now current controlled current source what will be your diagram? The same diagram will be modified into right IB R pi. What will be the diagram? Here you will be having beta into IB. That is your own difference along with that of your output resistance R0. Okay. E. So the current across this is going to be IE and current across is going to be your IC. Now what is the only addition? You know that GM is equal to IC divided by VT. The second equation R pi is equal to VT divided by IB which is equal to beta divided by GM which we have already solved. Now in addition you have R0. What will be your R0? R0 will be equal to your voltage divided by your current what voltage here the voltage is taken as your early voltage va is equal to your early voltage or you can write it as vc divided by ic right for ac case so here you are replacing it by va divided by ic a is nothing but your va is nothing but your early voltage so these are the different configurations which you are 
studying in your hybrid pi model.